Aloha, this is Steve Parente, and today we're going to show you how to make uh, your own raw ginger ale, naturally carbonated with the J8005 Omega Juicer, and I also have my other ingredients here that I'll show you. I have one pound of fresh ginger. I got this uh, at the local uh, store here, and this is uh, young ginger. It's organic and grown in Hilo. Um, I went to the farmer's market, the Hilo farmer's market the other day and picked up a couple of organic limes. We're going to juice these limes. And I also have Wau Kale honey uh, from uh, Mike and Sean Harris, local beekeepers. And uh, I'm going to be using um, some resealable um, beer bottles to uh, make the, uh, or to bottle the, uh, the ginger ale in. And, um, you know, you can buy resealable bottles, but you can get Fisher or Grolsch or other resealable bottles, buy it with a beer in, get to drink the beer, and uh, then you can reuse the bottles. It's really a hassle-free way. I've used cappers and I've made my own beer and I find that uh, using these resealable beer bottles are the way to go. Um, I'm also going to use some beer yeast. Uh, I picked this up at the local uh, Brew at Hawaii store. Um, I'm going to put a tablespoon or two of this into uh, a little bit of water and honey to activate it right uh, right after we start here. And uh, by the time we're ready to bottle and mix into the whole batch, uh, we'll be ready. With the honey, I'm going to use one and a quarter cup of honey. Uh, this is what I prefer. Uh, if you like it sweeter, you can put uh, a little more in, and that's one and a quarter cups of honey with uh, one gallon of, wa of water, filtered water. So if you uh, follow these directions, you'll get a, a pretty strong uh, batch of, of ginger ale, although the young ginger is not as strong as the older ginger. Uh, you can vary the amounts of ginger. I'm using a pound of the young ginger. I'm going to wash the ginger now and then get ready for juicing. Get all the dirt and uh, debris off of it. And uh, I'm going to keep the skins on and, and uh, so uh, I'll get to washing. All right, so now I have washed my ginger and uh, I've also used uh, a part of the package of yeast. Uh, the yeast is usually um, meant for about five gallons of uh, beer. Uh, so um, I just use like a teaspoon and uh, I mix that with two tablespoons of honey and a quarter cup of water. And uh, I've uh, mixed this together and uh, now it's working, it's activating. And uh, I may only use like a couple tablespoons of this to, uh, to make the ginger ale and I can put the rest in the refrigerator and save it for another batch because we go through ginger ale pretty pretty quickly and it only takes a couple of days to to make ginger ale naturally carbonated. Um, I've broken apart the ginger and uh, into uh, smaller pieces and you know try to get all the dirt out in, in the crevices. Next thing I'll do is I'll cut this and get it ready for the juicer shoot on the Omega and then we'll start juicing this ginger. Okay, so I've cut up the ginger into uh, smaller pieces and I've also cut up the limes and uh, have them ready to go also. So I'll start juicing both the limes and the ginger. So we juiced our limes and we juiced the ginger. 
I've cleaned up the machine and the great thing about the Omega is that it's so easy to clean. It only takes like two or three minutes to clean. So I've got the ginger juice and the lime juice together here and I've already poured in uh, about a half gallon of water and now I'm going to pour in uh, the uh, my juice. Okay, so I've poured in my juice and uh, now I'm going to pour in um, my honey. I've got a, about a cup and, I have a cup and a quarter here. And I'll pour that in here and then I'll use the juice and water to rinse that out and get all that good honey into the, into the batch. So I, I stirred in one teaspoon of uh, the dry yeast into uh, a quarter cup of water and two tablespoons of honey and I've been letting the yeast work. And now I'm going to pour this mixture into, the, uh, into our batch, into our ginger brew batch. And I'll stir that up very well. You want to make sure that everything gets mixed very well, especially all the honey and the, and the uh, yeast. And now that that's well stirred, I'll top off with some filtered water to uh, make the gallon. And once we get this all done, and well stirred again, we're going to get ready to bottle. Now we stir some more. All right, once this is well stirred, right after you get done stirring, you want to start bottling. And that's so that uh, Everything's suspended and you get a good flavorful brew in each bottle. So I have very clean bottles. I've got to use my funnel here. And uh, this is pretty simple. Dip in and start filling your bottles up. Leave yourself just a little bit of air at the top. Then you just simply cap the bottle. And I'll do the rest of the bottles and we'll wait a couple of days. And in a couple of days we'll have nice um, carbonated, uh, naturally carbonated raw ginger ale. And uh, we'll show you that. Uh, in a couple of days. All right, aloha. It's been three days actually, and we have been uh, in uh, warm weather, right? So we're in Hawaii, so it's anywhere from 75 to 85 degrees, um, and we have been naturally uh, carbonating uh, our ginger brew. Now, this is naturally carbonated, so you got to be careful with this, and you need to check it. This is not like some of the uh, bottled drinks where they shoot the, uh, the bottle with CO2. Um, this is a live, uh, live yeast, beer yeast is, which is what we're using, uh, which is high in B vitamins. So we've got a really healthy drink here. We have, um, we've got the raw ginger and lime, and we've got the beer yeast. So this is, a, this is a really healthy drink. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna open this. You gotta be careful. I tested this. You need to test it whether in your climate. Check and see if it's going, uh, if it's building up some pressure. When it starts to build up some pressure, put it in the refrigerator and uh, it will continue to carbonate a little bit even after it gets cool. So here we go. And hopefully you won't have a mess. Okay. Ah, that sounds good. Okay. So now I'm going to pour this and 
Look at that. Nice and carbonated. Okay, let's taste it. That is yummy. All right. More ginger ale.